viewers, this is Rise. Welcome back to Let's Play Shadowrun. Today we're gonna finish the arena, so let's do it. Alright, we wanna buy the uh, mesh wire jacket. Uh, I just figured I'd show me buying it. I didn't really point it out to get it. Well, I guess I kinda did, but. I keep going to the wrong menu. I'm not used to this. Hitting the start button. <laughs> and, uh. Equip the mesh jacket. It gives us two points of defense, so that'll help out there. Uh, hold on to the leather jacket. The worn leather jacket. Hold on to that. Okay, we're going back to the car yards now. Uh, you know what? I'll just meet you at the car yards. Okay, I'm back now, and uh, let's take out this guy. Come on, take him out. Just keep firing. He'll come back into view. Got him! Yes! I, uh, had some slap patches there, just in case. Alright, uh... Yeah, let's go heal after that one. He's the hardest fight here. Okay. Whew. Hate that guy. He is really tough. Oh well, we got him. Got him. It's all that matters. Now let's do the last fight here, so let's do it. Okay. This guy's a lot easier. This guy's kind of interesting. He'll create clones of himself. Oh, I hate it when they do that. Yeah, but the clones die in one hit. Now, one way you can tell it's a clone or not is because this mage, the real one, will fire uh, a powerball spell at you. Yeah, like that. That's uh, an attack magic spell. I'm pretty sure you have to kill the clone eventually. Can't quite remember. Oh yeah, he's still over there. Just in case, I've got some slap patches. Uh, I had him for the troll decker there, but I didn't use him, I guess. Alright, got him! Okay. And that's it, right? Yep, that's it. Killed everybody in the arena. And, uh, got a lot of money to show for it, too, so that's good. Okay. Yeah, let's save after that. As for karma, well, let's up body once, and, uh, should we up computer yet? No, no. Not yet. Up body once there, uh, now we should have 70 HP, alright. Okay, let's go explore, But uh, I actually want to take a pause break here, so uh, I'll take care of that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back now, and uh, let's go explore. Let's talk to some people. I am a looking for firearms. Well, screw you then. I don't know. I don't think he says anything interesting. The subway station is right next door. Uh, if you miss this, the hiring keyword, if you ask this guy about shadow runners, he'll give it to you. This guy doesn't say anything interesting. <laughs> Neither does the bartender, but I like what he was in. <laughs> Look at his design. He looks ridiculous. He's wearing like a McDonald's suit or something. I don't know. I don't get it. Yes, I'm looking for a decker. No, I'm looking for a way to fix my data jet. Huh. Alright, well, I already did that. No, I don't. A street dock? What about my data jack? The wastelands, huh? I was on that one uh, item there that we picked up earlier. Huh. Let's ask about the Matrix. 
Oh, no, he doesn't respond to that. Well, let's try Street Dock. Oh, Ed can fix Data Jacks. All right. Okay, there's a couple Shadowrunners in here, along with the Blue Book and the Orange Book. <laughs> this is Orifice. He's a minorly upgraded Hamfist. He's a Merc, though. He's not a Decker, so he doesn't have the Data Jack that Hamfist has. So Hamfist is actually more useful. Still, Orifice is okay for this part of the game. Uh, he got, he's pretty cheap, too. I think he's cost 500 uh, You know what? Let's find out. Yeah, 500. Uh, I wouldn't bother. He's really not going to help you that much. Uh, this is Dances with Clams. He's a mage. Yeah, and he wants way too much. Unfortunately, he's only a minorly a minor upgrade from Jenga Dance, who was terrible. Dance is okay, but Orifice is just better in every way. Dance doesn't even have the MP to cast his spells, so. Oh well. By the way, the shotgun there, it actually has an accuracy of two. So that's nice. So you can kill these people walking around. Pretty sure you can. That's what leads to Ed, but we don't want to go there quite yet. Some more people to talk to. They don't say anything particularly interesting. The guy's talking in the corner over here that you'll see as soon as they come into view. There they are, these guys. Uh, you won't be able to talk to them. They'll, they'll ignore you. Say, yeah. What's this shop? Huh. Wonder where he, what he sells. Talismans. Oh yeah, if you hit the R and L buttons, you just cycle through the different pages. Let's ask him. What's a shaman? What's going on here? Uh, needs to, items to be able to learn spells. Uh, well, if we ever decide to learn magic, we might put that to use. Uh, yeah, right. As if we ever learn magic in a game with guns. <laughs> yeah. Wonder what he's got for sale. A blue and purple bottle, and how much does it cost? Three thousand million. Six thousand. What? And a wooden stake. I wonder what that's used for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ignore that beeping sound. That was just my stopwatch making a weird beeping noise for no apparent reason. Yes, I need some help. Okay. Oh, you mean like this? <laughs> Alright. Let's talk to this guy. Huh. You killed the, the gun owner so that you could take over his shop? And you set your hair on fire. Okay. You are definitely a menace to society. Oh, come on! This guy... Doesn't mean me any harm. Bull! And you know it, game. Whatever. Yeah, I just wanted to show off the uh, loss of karma if you do that. Attack somebody that means you no know harm. Except for saw a few select NPCs for whatever reason. Yeah, they don't give you much money in this game. It's almost as bad as Final Fantasy XII. Yeah, that was the worst defender, I gotta say. I'm sorry, but you gotta give me more than money than to up... Sorry, but when I only get enough money to upgrade half of one character, I'm sorry. That's ridiculous. Ed's patch and fix. Why do I feel not very ecstatic about this? I got a data jack. Sure, give me an examination. Now make sure you have 2,000 million before you do this. Boy, I feel really confident about this one. Yeah, really confident. It's gonna go so well. Oops! What's that weird clicking sound? It sounds like a clock. What the hell is that? <clears throat> yeah, it's probably nothing. Probably banged me in the hammer or something on accident. A cortex bomb! 
What? You better damn well give me my money back. Now you want to ask him about the Cortex Bomb and he'll give you your money. Yep, there you go. You know what? Screw you! Screw you again! Screw you again! Okay. <laughs> now we only have 30 minutes to deactivate this Cortex Bomb or you will die. Alright, so, uh, what do we do now? How are we going to get rid of this bomb? Or is Jake destined to blow up? Find out on the next episode of Let's Play Shadowrun. Have a great day, guys.